Alright, so I finally did it. I did something that I felt like I was never ever going to do in my life. Everybody that knows me knows I play video games. I'm a super gamer. Everybody knows the type of games that I like. Uh, it's kind of weird making this video because I got to look at the camera, the way everything's positioned. It's weird. I'm going to be, my eyes are going to be everywhere. But anyway, uh, that's beside the point. Everybody knows I like adventure games, action adventure, meaning as there's action involved, like there's, he there's heavy combat or there's, there's instant reaction. Um, and I like fighting games, Tekken, Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Soul Calibur, all that shit, whatever. And games I absolutely despise are RPG games. When I say RPG, I mean turn-based RPG. People know what that is. That's the attack, uh, magic, run. You're just taking turns as the computer decides whatever they want to do. I always thought that was the stupidest thing possible, and I never understood how it could be fun. Uh, back in the day, I remember playing a Final Fantasy VIII demo. And for some reason, I used to like it a little bit, but it was never really fun. I think I just liked how it looked, and I liked that the dude had a sword or whatever. And Legend of Lagaya, I used to just love the story and the dialogue with it, but I thought the games were legit boring. So it was just nothing that I ever liked. Okay, everybody knows Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming out. So I was just like, I was like, man, I don't know shit about Final Fantasy at all. I've never played any of them. And uh, it's like a lot of people's favorite PlayStation game. A lot of people's favorite video game, period. And I never understood that because it's a fucking RPG. Attack, magic, run, quit. Fucking the computer decides whether they want you to miss a move or not. I was just like, this shit is so fucking stupid. So I never ever played it, right? All right, cool. So with the remake coming out, I just wanted to gain a little bit of knowledge on it. So I started watching a little bit of videos, and it was still like the knowledge that I've gained from the characters has been from strictly from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is Final Fantasy mixed with Disney characters. So Sephiroth is one of my favorite characters in lore, period, and I don't even really know much about him. The reason I like him is because his fucking character design and fighting him on Kingdom Hearts, you just realize he's not to be fucked with. I like his moves. I like his his calm voice. So that's pretty much why I liked him. Uh, and he's on Kingdom Hearts too. He has a little bit of dialogue with him and Cloud. And he's just he's just a cold, calm character. I love that type of shit. And I love when people have a sword and they keep it sheathed in. So whatever. Fast forward. Um, yeah, Cloud, same thing. I learned about him from Kingdom Hearts. Didn't know shit about him. Uh, I had this game called Air Geese. Uh Back in the day, it's like a Power Stone mixed with Tekken. And they were on that game also. And I knew them just from Air Geese and Kingdom Hearts. Nothing else. And then Cloud becomes a character on Smash Brothers four years ago. And it's just like, all right, that's all I know. I've never watched the Advent Children movies. I don't know. I don't know shit about them. So it was just like, all right, whatever. So I'm arguing with one of my friends, uh, and he's talking about, uh, don't don't diss turn base and this and that. I'm like, it's corny, man. I just don't understand it. So whatever. I say that to say this. I just turned Final Fantasy VII off, and I beat the shit. I finally beat the fucking game. I didn't really want to tell nobody I was playing it because I just didn't want to. I mean, I wanted to keep it quiet and just be like, yo, I actually played it. And plus, I just wanted to gain more knowledge on the characters and the backstory and everything. And I played a remastered version. It's the same graphics, but it's higher resolution. And um, the shit, the shit was, it was good, man. I liked a lot of shit about it. And I'm fucking surprised that I liked it at all. Because I just don't like those type of games. I just think they're boring. Uh, but now I understand them more. Before... I can honestly say I didn't understand it. It was more so, how the fuck could somebody play this? And I've been trying to be more outside of the box with games that have been rated so high. Like Call of Duty. I've never played Call of Duty in my life. And I just recently started playing this new one. And I like it a lot. So it's just like, alright, I'm not going to be so close-minded with things anymore. It's just like, alright, let, let me just try this out 
and give it a honest try with no biased opinion. So I finished the game, man, and there was a lot of shit that I liked about it. Uh, I feel like RPGs, as far as story-wise, they shit on every single video game, period. You can't replicate the story and dialogue in an RPG and the character development and the fleshed out just personality in any other video game. You just can't. Not a fighting game, not a sports game, not a fucking shooting game, nothing. Like, RPGs, they build up the character from start to finish, and you just get to see the fleshed out personality. And the, and also with the story, and that's the type of shit that I like. So, uh, that's, that pulled me in from the start. Uh, Barrett and Cloud's dialogue going back and forth. You just see this, like, all right, who the fuck is this guy type shit. And that pulled me in instantly. I'm like, oh, okay. And uh, the music, the sound effects, is just video gamey as fuck. So I'm like, okay, now now I'm, I'm seeing where this is going. Um, but uh, I started to really understand the combat. And I'm just like, at first it's just like, okay, attack. You slice him, he dies. I was just like, this is boring, this is dumb. But as you progress on to the story, you start to realize, okay, you got to go to the menu and you got to... You got to pick certain weapons and items that you pick up and use certain attacks for certain enemies. It's, it really becomes strategic. And everybody knows Street Fighter fighting games, you have to be strategic. So that's where the fun started to come in. I'm like, okay, I can't just press attack. I can't just use magic on everybody. I can't just do the same shit. I have to, I might have to defend. I might have to use this magic. Um, I ran out of magic. I might have to use an item. Uh, I keep dying against this boss. I might have to use this type of magic enhancement for him and then save it for another. It's just a lot of strategy involved with the turn-based combat. And I, now I fully understand it. I've died a lot. I won a lot. And it just was like, okay, now I get it. And one of my favorite things to do in video games is leveling up. I love to level up. So... Leveling up on the game is just like, okay, now I'm strong enough to go here, and now I'm strong enough to get rid of these enemies, and it's just like, now I can explore more, and I like that in every video game, so it's just like, now I start to see the aspects of games that I do play, like Kingdom Hearts, it it really was just like, alright, now I get it, I understand this shit, but um, there was a couple things I did not like about the game, I did not like that Maybe I missed it, or maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm just a dickhead, and you guys can comment and tell me if you actually even take the time to watch this video, but I do not, I did not understand why they did not tell you what the materia did. So when you go to the menu, it says materia, and you go to lightning, and it says equips lightning materia. Duh, of course I know that if I click this button, it'll equip that. What does it do? Obviously, the lightning material is a, is a magical attack. It should have just says attacks with the element of lightning. But instead, it doesn't say that. So when I got to certain materials like revive and heal and life, I'm thinking they all do the same thing. And they honestly don't. And they don't tell you. So I had to actually look them up. And it was just like I looked them up after I fought Sephiroth. So it's like the game is over. So uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that they don't tell you what the material does when you combine them. It's just like, who the fuck has time to figure out all this trial and error and, and try to guess the effects of what's happening with these materials? I, th I thought that was very stupid. Um, as far as the navigation in the game, I felt, I mean, it's PlayStation, so it's technology, but I felt like you moved too slow. Uh, good thing I played the remastered version so you could speed up time. Like, you could just put it in fast forward so I could walk a little bit faster, but... Uh, move way too slow uh the world is way too big for that character model to be moving that slowly around like that yeah you get spaceships and and boats and everything and move a little bit faster but that's still still uh, still slow as hell uh so i didn't like the navigation in the game but it wasn't it wasn't insanely bad it wasn't that bad but i just feel like you should have been able to move a little bit faster but that's really not a complaint that just has to do with technology because yeah, it was on PS1. Uh, I hate it that they did not tell you the locations of the places on the map. It just had little dots, and it didn't have the names of any towns or any place you visited. So it's like, 
you learn this whole big ass world and these places that somebody might say to go to but you don't know where to go because you don't know the name of the place and it's like who's going to memorize all these places with no names that was dumb as fuck that was very stupid man i, I hated that but uh as far as like the dialogue and the Sephiroth backstory and Cloud being an experimented clone and Hojo being Sephiroth's dad and then there's the secret uh, locations that like flesh out the story more. Um, Vincent basically used to talk to Sephiroth's mom and then Hojo cut that shit out and then he became Sephiroth's dad and if that didn't happen it probably would have been Vincent's kid. Like this is this is a lot of shit. Uh, the characters. I pretty much like every character on the game. Um, everybody was cool, man. I didn't unlock, uh, I think, Zuffy. That's the girl from Kingdom Hearts with the, the ninja cutter or whatever. I fought her a million times, but I didn't unlock her. I don't understand how you were supposed to. I did not get Omni Slash, so I seen that at the very end and was like, oh, shit. So I don't know how to unlock that. I don't care. I don't care about the ultimate weapon. Uh, I didn't do no side stories. Or nothing like that. My favorite little side story of the game was uh, Barrett and Dying. Uh, I fucked with that. I fucked with 13, um, 13's little side story. He thought his dad was a bitch and then come to find out his dad was the realest nigga of the town. Uh, I fucked with 13's hometown music, man. That shit used to... That shit would get me in mode, so I'm going to be playing that shit in the gym, too. Uh, I thought a funny part was... Um, when Cloud was dressed like the Shinra again, and <laughs> the Shinra guy said, all right, I want to see everybody do your best move. And he looked at Cloud and was like, all right, what's your best move? And he did his little victory pose that he does when you whenever you fight somebody, and everybody was fucking with it. So they did it too, and they like twirled their gun and shit. It's just little shit like that. I was just like, wow, I didn't think these little baby-ass character models could flesh out so much personality like just even when cloud is like tifa was coming and he's like trying to like prepare himself he like fixes his hair and he just moves funny like it, it was just a lot of personality and story fleshed out which is the main thing that i look for when i play a game i mean equal as far as the gameplay and um I started to like them. I learned to like the gameplay when I realized how strategic it was. So my friend was right. Justin, you were right when it comes to, you mean, it's not just, just bullshit. Can I see myself playing any of the other ones? Honestly, no. I have an interest in Squall, so I might play Final Fantasy VIII. But uh, other than that, I don't know if... I feel like getting wrapped into one of those long ass fucking stories again. I had to do this shit because I like Cloud and I fuck with Sephiroth heavy. But uh, yeah, overall, I understand why y'all like this game so much. I get it. So uh, yeah, now I'm ready for the remake. I'm gonna watch Evan Children. I'm gonna watch whatever little backstory with Zach and Vincent and and anything else that is, is has anything to do with Seven. But uh. Yeah, man, that's the first RPG that I actually beat. It's the only one. Um, I can't say that it's going to be the only one forever, but I don't know. We'll see, man.